I do that a lot. Holy crap. Hello? Coming! I am pushing the button. Hello? Big B! Snow. Come with me. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we Snow. going? Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Who's this guy? Hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? I don't know who that's supposed to be. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. <sighs> Sun's on my face. Oh well. Who was that guy? I don't know. I suppose we'll find out sometime. Wolf in sheriff's clothing. Hooray! Achievement. Side note. Forgot to say this. Anyone who was watching my playthrough of the Crooked Man, um, I recorded the whole game uh, and everything was going good. And then I went back and none of it recorded. So I kind of given up on that. Just saying. I'm gonna I'll probably do like a cap off of the entire game. But overall Yeah. Wait, no, okay, that guy's still there. Whose security jacket is this? It's a security jacket. Ah. Grab it. Why is this such a big deal? Oh, is someone in the jacket? Oh, damn! No. Oh, damn! You knew this girl? Holy shit! She's not a Mundy. Holy crap! I didn't see that coming! Who was she? Oh I man. I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. Yeah. I didn't see that coming at all, holy crap. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he I don't think anything. Maybe. Holy crap. Give me a second. It's just terrible. Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you. Holy. I didn't see that coming at all. No. Holy crap, this is amazing. Big P, did one of us... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. But it's All possible. The more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Who that? I'll have a look around. Everyone's we suspicious. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Damn! I didn't see that coming. I thought she'd be like a character throughout the game. She dead. Holy shit. She something in her mouth. What is? Remove the item. Is it her ribbon? It's her ribbon. Oh. It's her ribbon. And a ring. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. The plot thickens. Let's look at her wound. Did this to her? What could do something like that? Damn, dude. Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. <laughs> That's for sure. 
She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed yep. for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I do not know, but I want to find out. Telltale's been getting good lately. I mean, they had their, like, Jurassic Park game that was terrible a long time ago. But now with The Walking Dead, I think they realize what they're good at. So surreal. And I think that's... Yeah. Because The Walking Dead... What... What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. What I was trying to say was The Walking Dead uh, always was good at, you know, like, random surprises. So, I think that's what Telltale's learned that they're good at. <clears throat> Touch it! Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? Maybe. This is kind of cool. I'm really having, like, a good time. Scrap of fabric. A clue! Fabric. <gasps> it's a blue clue! Doesn't tell me. I'm sorry. I like jokes. Just some loose trash. Are you sure? Check it again! The garbage men can even find their way here. All right. Well, there's blood on the fence posts. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Maybe. So. Show me your jeans, everyone! Show me your jeans! Where's snow? Snow! Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Yes, quite. Look at this scrap of fabric I found. <laughs> what are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. It's not her. I don't think it would be her at any period. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more. Are pieces of her office. body just gonna She'll keep showing up. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I'm guessing to me. I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. Hmm. I was gonna go with the woodsman's threat, but then I don't know if it's the woodsman, so... I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Crane? Ichabod? As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Uh, He's going to find out anyway, I'm going to lean back a little so bit for a minute. as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need I to do. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy. <laughs> it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. Me neither. I just don't want him interfering. Is it Ichabod Crane though? I hope it is. That'd be cool. I love the whole... Crane's not what's important uh, right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What I was saying was I love the Headless Horseman. That's what I was trying to say. And, uh, Swinehart, is he a pig also? Is he like Colin? <laughs> a long goodbye. Oh, Colin the pig. Colin is amazing. It's the best pig ever.
Oh no. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you were the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news That's as soon as dick. I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Yeah. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh. Totally. Is that how you see things? Sheriff, oh. you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. It is a about grain. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Totally. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> and where massage. is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Forget it. You can't do anything right. Jeez, this guy's kind of a dick. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be a dick. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Yes, well, yes, could have. Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. <laughs> Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. That's weird. I'm not... Is... Is he gone? Yes, thank the you. The hell is that? The flying monkey. That's weird. Buffkin. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking this early? Where did you get that? Uh, it was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Yeah, come on, monkey. Monkey. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? You're weird. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. I kind of want to be a good Buffkin. guy throughout the game. Books. Which books? The ones uh, with all the fables in it. Yeah. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Yeah. I kind of want to play the good guy throughout the game. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. I don't Somewhere. know if the... No. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the Quite. meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mm. Cool. You really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hello. Um, I think I'm going to end this recording session here. Uh, but I think I'm going to end this here because I... Sorry, Mountain Dew.
uh, I think my audio recording might have stopped. Hopefully, the, my camera is still picking up audio so I can just layer it if it isn't. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see you on whatever I make next. Rock on from Birth On, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!